morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, Eating or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness.
you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team, immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and load security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. to all Black Mesa personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. And you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Ah, Gordon Freeman. Coded message for Captain Morell, Command and Communication Center. Any ideas on the origin of that new sample? You bet. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? 
You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated ersatz are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Morning, champ. Hello. I trust this morning finds you well. Another day, another dollar. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. Hold on for one moment. Go right on through, sir. 
Looks like you're in the barrel today. Ah, Gordon! We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical... What's up, Doc? How curious. It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot Ready of... Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Go bother someone else, Gordon. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal. 
Yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. No, no. As long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel... doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
Center B. Tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. <laughs>
Please report status immediately. Glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Yeah, let's go. That's right, chow time's over. My trophy. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And 
why are they wearing science team uniforms? All right, let's move. Aim for that head thing. Hey, I got one. Time soon. Uh, sir, that injury may need some attention soon. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Man, did you see that shot? Oops, sorry. Man, did you see that shot? Let me get out of the way. this kind of stuff. Hey, you be careful in there, Doc. Let me get out of your way.
Do you have any idea what's going on? Excuse me. We gotta get to the admin office upstairs. There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. Come in, anybody. This is Sector C, Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I'm